Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala, up to the left, oh, blocked by James! LeBron James with the rejection! <laughs> to Curry, free down to Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! Durant handling, Durant down the lane! Yo, what is going on guys? It is A-Rose and I am back with another video. So for this video, we're going to be talking about Anthony Davis and uh, how recently there's been some rumors flying around that the Boston Celtics are uh, interesting in trading, uh, doing some blockbuster trade for Anthony Davis. So as of right now, there are currently, there's no details on what a trade for Anthony Davis might look like, but all the Celtics have stated though, and this is a fact, they have said that if the Pelicans season, you know, is sort of a disappointment and a letdown, they're going to really try to pursue Anthony Davis and, you know, get him out of New Orleans and, uh, you know, off the Pelicans and get him to Boston and hopefully, you know, bring the winning culture back to Boston if, you know, it's there already. But adding Anthony Davis would just, that would be really scary for Boston. I mean, for other teams in the East, even the Cavs, that would, that would potentially put them over the top and get them past the caps but we'll talk about that a little later in the video but anyways um so anthony davis to the celtics let me know if you think this is possible Let, let's sort of break down what a trade could look like for anthony davis so obviously this is gonna be a blockbuster deal there might be i would say there's almost definitely gonna be at least one more team involved because uh you know a player like anthony davis they're going to want to get something back for him for sure the pelicans if you know they're trading him they're pretty much stating they're going to rebuild at that point probably demarcus cousins would leave too maybe they even trade him as well to, and just hit the complete reset button but uh i guess they'll have to figure that out come the time but anyway what a trade might look like so for anthony davis you have to say right off the bat they're going to ask for boston's uh brooklyn nets pick for next year which is likely to be the number one pick in the draft but i'd say at worst it's going to be a top three pick in the draft depending on where uh brooklyn finishes next season it looks like brooklyn's going to be the worst team again but hey you never know um but yeah so they're going to start with that brooklyn pick i know the celtics also have a few other picks i think they have a lakers pick uh perhaps i i'm not 100 percent on that but they might have a lakers pick next year in the first round i'm pretty sure they either have a sacramento or a philly pick they i think they might have a philly pick because they did that deal with washington um you know to swap the third pick and the first pick to you know so philly could get Fultz, and you know they took tatum boston so they're definitely gonna have to give up those picks and they probably give up al horford if you know the pelicans even want him and it, it it's possible it might be tough for the Celtics I would say a third team like I said is definitely going to need to be involved to give up uh some more first round picks to the Pelicans in order to complete this deal for Davis but it's possible it really is so Anthony Davis I think he'd also be a good fit on Boston I, I really think he would fit their offense I think he he would he would just be great I mean he's become a very complete player now he's got an outside shot now it's getting better and better every season he's still really young what is he only 22 maybe 23 at most so i mean the, the guy's still super young so i mean he's got plenty of years ahead of him so this would be a great deal for boston he's only gonna get better and better so what do i think this is gonna get him past the Cavs? i think it gives them a very good chance you have gordon hayward isaiah thomas uh anthony davis and i think jason tatum's gonna quickly emerge as a star he, he has a chance to win rookie of the year i'm gonna predict it's gonna be between uh i mean honestly it's hard to predict it the favorites seem like lonzo ball jason tatum maybe De'Aaron fox uh josh Jackson. There, there's so many guys in this draft class so they're all capable of winning rookie of the year i think or at least the top 10 picks are in this draft they're all really good players dennis smith so uh let's not get off too off topic but anthony davis yeah going to boston let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think it's gonna get a pass the Cavs? uh what do you think the trade you know the celtics might what do you think the celtics are gonna have to give up do you think they might have to give up too much or do you think they might be able to pull this off and still be a very very good team so uh yeah stay tuned for more videos subscribe if you enjoyed this video leave a like if you enjoyed and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one peace out